Today we are announcing the creation of a property tax portal, a one-stop shop website for all property tax information for Cook County residents. I want to thank all of the elected officials in the property and taxation constellation for their collaboration on this historic project. We would not be able to do this without the collaboration of all these separately elected officials. But in particular, I want to thank the treasurer. She has been dedicated to this project and used her own resources to help us as we see this project through to its completion date. Currently, property owners who want to see the tax history of a home, business, or land must visit the websites of up to six different county offices to piece together a record of ownership, payments, exemptions, appeals, refunds, and delinquencies, much of which goes back only one year. With the property tax portal, an owner will get five years of history in a linear form and on a single screen without having to surf from website to website, determining what is owed, paid, and what refunds might be available. For the first time in county history, a property owner can enter his or her address and receive a snapshot of his or her property that includes all the information that he or she would want to access. The new portal compiles information and data from the treasurer's office, the Office of the County Assessor, the Office of the Recorder of Deeds, the Board of Review, among others. The website will be www.cookcountypropertyinfo.com. Each of the offices will be providing their most vital information that can be accessed through this website. For the first time in county history, giving property owners a snapshot of their property, which they can immediately access. We're committed to launching this website formally by April 1st. This is one of, the surface, one, one of the services that interacts with most residents of Cook County, and this site will make their lives simpler and easier. With their address in one single click, residents will be able to view specific data of their property, pay their taxes, apply for an exemption, appeal their assessment with the assessor or the Board of Review, be made aware of whether or not they have any refunds coming, see if they have prior unpaid bills and delinquencies, and check for vital record, re recorded documents such as a lien or ownership information. In the past, the property owner may not have known that all of this, is, all of this vital information existed in one place, much less which county website to, to go to to, uh, to try to access it. We hope that this will make the lives of Cook County residents much simpler, to save them time and allow them more access to appeals, exemptions, and refunds which, would save, which could save them valuable dollars. And now I'd like to turn the podium over to the treasurer, Maria Pappas. Well, this has um, certainly been a long time coming. Um, our office has kind of been working on this portal idea for eight years, but it took President Preckwinkle spearheading to get all of the elected officials, David Orr, Joe Berrios, um, Pat Leck, Carbonargi, Rogers. Rogers and Mr. Abdullah from the recorder's office who's here today um, to get this done. So this is about technology being power. Technology here is power, and what does that mean? That means if you go here, Excuse me. you can now take your 14-digit PIN number, which is basically your social security number for your property and your address. On the front page of this website, you will type that in. Once that's typed in, on a second page, this screen will show up the following. A picture of your home or your property, and there are 1.7 million in the county of Cook. Immediately, you will get a property description, estimated value, assessed value, the actual address. You will also get the annual tax amount paid going back five years, if it's current, you'll be able to go directly and pay online. You'll be able to tell going back five years whether or not you received a homestead exemption or a senior citizen exemption. And this is great for the Board of Appeals. You will be able to go to the appeal site for the, for the assessor's office and the Board of Appeals and know whether or not you can currently appeal. You'll be linked in and you'll be able to do that online. 
You'll also be able to go back five years and see whether or not there's an overpayment on your property. And if your property got sold in our office, the papers then go to David Orr's office, you'll be able to look at that site and see whether or not the property was sold and how it is that you can redeem. With regard to the recorder's office, you'll also be able to um, download a copy of the deed. We are very happy about this because, as you know, what it will do is it will kind of stop um, papered government. What we're trying to do is make it easy so that you aren't chasing paper between offices and floors and so that you don't have to go to the county building or to the satellite offices to get this information, which is now in five or six different places. So I want to thank the president. I want to commend my fellow elected officials for cooperating in this endeavor. And as it unfolds, we'll be adding more and more things to the site. Thank you. It's a good sign when you see when people work together what they can do. I particularly want to thank Maria for spearheading this. Um, one of the things that I hope this portal will do is to uh, take taxpayers uh, out of the property tax pinball machine. And what we mean by that is too often uh, taxpayers, they're looking for something, not sure whether to go to my office or Joe's office or Maria's office. This portal will be a great opportunity for people to find out everything they need in terms of the county clerk's office. There'll be information there, as Maria said, on prior bill status. So tax bills, I'll say from a couple years ago, you find out that status. You can find out about delinquencies, which properties delinquent and all the specifics of that delinquency. And finally, you can find out information about TIFs, that's tax increment financing. People are very concerned about how that money is being spent and where. And so that's our office's part. So uh, congratulations to, to my colleagues. And thanks, Maria, for your spearheading. And thank, of course, the president. I also want to congratulate the, the president and Maria for bringing everyone together. You know, since uh, we've all begun the new year last November, we've tried to come up with ideas that would help the, the average taxpayer here in Cook County, give them the knowledge and the ability not only to understand the property, but understand what's going on with government on their property, whether it be the assessment, whether they have the opportunity to appeal, which they all do, and whether what is actually going on if they owe money. The last thing in the world they want to find out at the last minute is that they owe money and they didn't know about it, or that their property tax assessments have skyrocketed and didn't know. This is going to make it very simple for them, and we were very, very happy to cooperate with everyone here because, again, our job is to make things easier for the taxpayers. Thank you. Briefly, I want to commend President Preckwinkle for uh, bringing a spirit of collaborative government to the President's office. Uh, you're looking at elected officials all willing, uh, ready, and capable of working together. And uh, with someone like President Preckwinkle at the helm, uh, she's made that, she's facilitated that, that effort. So I want to commend her. Uh, Treasurer Pappas uh, had vast resources available and was ready, willing, and, and, and ready to uh, make those available to all of us to work together. Uh, we all have seen taxpayers come to our respective offices with questions relating to one another's offices and to have a portal that we could direct them to to, to obtain the answers that they're looking for um, is, is really of great benefit to the taxpayer. So I commend you for your effort and thank you. I want to thank President Preckwinkle and Treasurer Pappas for their leadership on this issue. Uh, the homeowners of Cook County will benefit from what we're doing today because when county government communicates and collaborates, uh, they get more information easier in a way that's easier for them to understand. Uh, each of the commissioners at the Board of Review uh, does an aggressive outreach pro uh, policy where we go out into communities at nights and on weekends and work with homeowners so that they can appeal their property taxes. We get asked questions, though, that are beyond the Board of Review. Do I have a senior exemption on my property? When is my bill due? These are questions that other agencies in Cook County government that deal with property taxes are better suited to answer. And this is a one-stop shop portal that will give the taxpayers and the homeowners of Cook County one place to go to get their answers question, questions answered directly and efficiently. So once again, thank you. I just want to say that this portal is a great accomplishment uh, for at least two reasons. One being it's going to save taxpayers a lot of time and aggravation by being able to go to one source to get all their information. It's all gonna, also going to make all of our offices more efficient because our employees will spend less time on the phone providing information to taxpayers uh, that they could otherwise get on the internet, more time working on their duties uh, re uh, regarding the statutory duties of each of our departments. Thank you.
On behalf of Recorder Moore, he apologizes for not being here today. He's been under the weather, but he's online with the uh, tax portal because he believes that making government more efficient and transparent for the taxpayers of Cook County is in our best interest. In addition to that, each of these offices has experienced overlapping questions from our respective offices. This effort will mitigate that and hopefully make things clear for the taxpayer. So again, Mr. Moore, thanks you. He's online with both the President and the Treasurer with reference to the tax portal, and he supports their efforts. Thank you.